Hello, glorious, big, giant, scary river, and hello, whatever the hell you are. Some sort of structure, some sort of something, rather. Yesterday, we fished down over there, and uh, it was actually pretty good. Hooked a giant, lost a giant, got wrecked by a giant, got owned by a giant, got pwned by a giant. I'm not sure what the hell a pwned is, but I think people said it while playing video games. Halo, Call of Duty. I used to spend too much time doing that. I don't trust myself anymore. But uh, yeah, we're back upstream. And um, well, we're back here. And this time we're upstream. Let's give it a shot. Stuff and things. Puh, pow. What is going on, you dirty old... I said I'm bringing back the stash things, but I haven't posted that video yet that I said I was bringing back the stash things. So I guess, what is going on, you dirty old stash things? Comment your stash things down below. But anyway, we're back at the river. I hooked a damn giant down there right off the bat when I came to the river yesterday. And um, yeah, I figured my best advice for you with fishing, not that anybody asked me for advice, something that I'm giving myself as advice, is you can't get stuck in one place for too long. And that's what happened yesterday. Yesterday I was planning on coming up here, but after I got uh, wrecked by a big flathead, then uh, I just kind of sat there the rest of the day. So yeah, we're gonna try here first. So we stay mobile, we'll give it like an hour, hour and a half at most, and then we're going down there, and I think that's the end of our mobility actually. Might have to look at Google Maps, but I'm just rambling. Stay mobile. If it, uh, if whatever you're doing isn't working when it comes to fishing, you should probably try something else. So let's give it a shot. Stuff things pop out. Got some lefties, got some lefty over goldfishies. And yeah, I only got four. We need to catch some tiny channel cats, tiny drum, maybe gold eye for cut bait, maybe drum for cut bait. We need more bait, but we started with some bait, which is better than not starting with some bait, you know? Come here, little goldie. Come here. So we'll get these out. I'll maybe throw a uh, swim bait for a little bit, but then we need to get a uh, Carolina rig crawler out. And yesterday over there, vertical jig, jigging a uh, jig head crawler was also fairly effective. I'm gonna throw this out into the main current. Start kind of close, kind of medium distance. Work it towards me. And then maybe just chuck it out in the middle of nowhere eventually. I do know a flathead has been caught right here before. I don't know much about big river flatheads, but uh, yeah, I know one was caught there. I caught one next to some sticks one time, and then I hooked one down there. That's my knowledge of river flatheads. I need a pole holder for the other one. So that one's going out in the main current because I know uh, my buddy Clint caught one there a month ago or so. Doesn't mean there's one there today, but you just gotta go off the information you got, you know? Even if the information ain't much. Better than going off of no information. And yeah, I think my goldfish are fine. I'm just gonna leave them out for now. Not the biggest goldfish ever, but... And I wanted that to be closer to the sticks. Ah, eh, let's get it closer to the sticks. Not the biggest goldfish ever, but... Elephants eat peanuts too. And who knows, a small goldfish might get ate by like a channel, drum bud, whale eye. Holy shit, a fish just hit it on the way in or I ran into a fish. I'm not sure what happened there, but something happened. That was a life. There's at least one fish over here. There's at least one fish. Better. Much better. Sketchy, but better. Lots of posts over there. Didn't really feel like I hit a post, but I got about as close as I would ever want to get to them. And yeah, I'm gonna throw this uh, baby whale that got abused by some wipers this morning and go from there. Go from there. Excited to be here though. Storm coming in. Beauty morning. I wish you guys could feel the weather right now. It is nice. It is very nice. It's 
gonna get to 80 today, which isn't too bad, especially if it's cloudy and breezy. And it is. And yeah, chance of storms eventually. I'm gonna have to go home before the, uh, right before the storm bite hits, but it's kind of a cloudy, stormy day in general, you know. Seems fishy. Seems very fishy. And stuff. Can't tell if the goldfish is just freaking out or if something's got him. Almost looks like something has him. It hasn't clicked though. It's gotta be more in the goldie, doesn't it? Seems like it's swimming at me. Yeah, something's happening. It's going out to sea. Whatever it is dropped it. I think. No, it's got it. There's a big long nose hat in its mouth. <laughs> Damn you long nose. <laughs> he stole my goldie. Not Goldie. <laughs> it actually wasn't a gold one. It was a black salty or whatever the hell they're called. Ah, well, that's all right. That is all right. At some point in the day, we should be able to catch more bait. And I would have taken that long nose, bud. I really would have. I can get picky sometimes at certain places, but the big river is not one of them. I'll take what I can get. All righty. We are on the side that dreams are made of. The weather's setting up right. And um, yeah, I don't know if I showed it, but I'll take it out if I can, but we got a couple giant channels. That's actually the bigger of the two, if you can believe it. And yeah, we're dropping down. Walking up this time, I realized that this goes way under there. I don't know how I'm supposed to cast in there with all this trash around, but that looks like a flathead den if I've ever seen one. But we're gonna stick on the outside for now. <clears throat> looks pretty good. A lot of space under there for a flatty. We're gonna set it up out here though and I mean, the one that I missed on the blade bait yesterday was right there, maybe out, just a, just a hair, hard to tell with current, but. And yeah, I'm gonna start with a blade and go from there. See if I can't trick something. Nice little current break, nice little pool, lots of structure. I mean, as far as a shore spot goes on this river, this looks like the deal. It probably is the deal, we just gotta figure out how to catch them and stuff. That's a fish. That's a fish on the blade in the damn thing. All right, some things have happened. I don't think that's a flathead, but I do wish I had my net and I do not. And I don't know how I'm going to land this fish, but I just started wandering down the way just to mess around. I mean, nothing was happening on there. Jig head crawler wasn't doing anything. Just all the stuff that was working last... Jesus, Pete. All the stuff that was working last time has certainly not been working this time. Not to say that much was working last time, but... Vertical jig and a blade bait got a big bite last time. So I figured I'd do it again. And definitely a fish I wish I had a net for. And after whatever happens with this, I'm getting the net. Cause I got a bump a little bit before this that felt like a fish. Oh God, that's a giant drum bud. That might be my biggest drum bud ever. That is a big one and it swallowed it. 
damn how do I get that guy how do I get that guy the old Missouri River special and that's up there as far as my personal best goes I just don't know how to get it in damn that was nuts uh, hmm. 17 pound fluoro enough to flip him up I don't know I doubt it but that's pretty much our only option and he looks like he's hooked good enough <clears throat> to where I don't think I'd get a blade bait in the hand I don't know if that's gonna work <laughs> man it's been a grind I really want to touch this fish I just don't know how I'm gonna do so I mean he's not like giant but he's definitely a pretty good one all right net time That worked out. That's a damn big ass drum, boys and girls. Big ass drum. <laughs> well, that was exciting. And stuff. Alrighty. I would normally big camera him because he's definitely up there on drum buds. Six spot. Better than anything we've caught out of the river in the past two trips for sure not complete redemption for the flathead but i mean pretty cool nonetheless i'm gonna leave the net here i'm gonna go get the goldfish and i'm gonna put the goldfish somewhere inside of this thing because why the hell not nothing's happening over there so might as well just kind of move down can't move up so, well, actually, we already were up, but there's not much, not much to do over there in those sticky things. I wish I could get on the other side of that uh, broken down metal wall, but it doesn't look like there's a way to do so. That one just clicked, but the channel cat's been making it click the whole time, pretty much. Bringing some attention to himself, that's for sure. If a big flathead comes by, I mean, he's gonna know he's there. That's the good thing about channel cats and bullheads is they just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Most of the time goldfish and other things just kinda chill unless they see something. But the channels just go ballistic at all times. But yeah, like this is ground. And then watch how deep this is. I mean, I thought it was going to be deeper, but it's still fairly deep. And my weight appears to be holding. We got a nice little place to prop up the pole. We got the net. We caught a damn fish worth talking about. And yeah, hopefully we're on to something. The big River's tough, boys and girls. Spencer makes it look easy, but... From shore, it can be really tough. Oh, 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 I got something else and it seems giant and I'm in trouble. It seems giant and I'm in trouble. It also feels really weird. And it's under the shit. And it's pouring. And my net is now not by me again. And it's a monster buffalo in the mouth. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How am I going to... At least I can get to shore over here. I just got to keep them out of the stuff. And I got to keep my camera dry so we don't lose audio again. That is incredible. That is incredible. Not like that incredible. Ah, I gotta protect you guys. Oh shit. 
What a debacle. That's a big fish. That's a very big fish. Biggest shore Missouri River fish probably of my life. Nope, don't do that. Surprisingly, I'm keeping them out for the most part. Oh, I don't want to jinx it though. Okay, he's not hooked in the mouth. <laughs> and we are getting absolutely shat on. I just want my blade bait back now. Ah! Stop it, Rain. You weren't supposed to rain until 2. Man, the weather channel is full of shit. And time and time again, full of shit. It is like 11 right now. Not 2. Can't really get him to shore. Damn it. <laughs> oh, there's thunder. <laughs> In the last video, or the video I recorded before this, I said I'd be struggling at the next spot because some people like watching me struggle, which is fine. But uh, yeah, I said I was gonna probably have to struggle at this spot. And that's certainly been the case. Net run again. From now on, I'm carrying it with me wherever I have the blade bait. Because that's apparently the thing that's going to catch fish today. How are you guys doing? Can you still hear me? Is my pole still there? My pole is still there, but he has done some stuff. How did he get all the way around? <laughs> oh, you piece of trash. He's going to break my damn pole. Come up here. Come up here. And we really need to hide. Because that was scary. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, got him. <laughs> Come here, Buffalo Bud. I need you. <laughs> It's a big one at least. You guys aren't too wet. We should be all right. My backpack's good. I got a spot to hide. We'll let this buffalo go quick, but. Ah, he's actually, I mean, looked closer than I thought in the mouth. And I am drenched. Worth it though. Kinda. Kinda. <clears throat> Neato fish. I've always liked buffaloes. Don't kill them. They're native. <laughs> My phone's vibrating. I hope it's not like a weather alert or something. Nope. Buberto. It's calling me. Let's call Buberto. Hello? Hi. I'm hiding under a tree in a thunderstorm. Oh god. Yeah. That's why I was calling you. Yeah, they said it wasn't gonna happen till two, but the weather channel's full of shit. Everybody knows that, but they're way off today. Yeah, it kinda worries me. It's sketchy. Yeah. I uh yeah, I got a pretty good spot to hide, I think, but I'm soaked. Ah, did you hear that? That was thunder. Ooh. Yeah. It sounded like wind. I should have like read the weather. Like I knew something was coming a little early, but I just I I had too much trust in the weather channel apparently. All right. Well, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know when I'm in my truck. Okay. I'm gonna put my phone away so it doesn't get rained on anymore. Okay. All righty. All right. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Alrighty, boys and girls, 
we got a little bit of a gap here. We used a little bit of our gap in the weather to uh, try to catch another fish, and we did get one bump on the blade bait, but yeah. I'm gonna use the rest of this gap to climb up that muddy ass hill after I pick up all my stuff, but yeah, kind of uh, got cut short. Hopefully mother nature didn't ruin the camera and just ruined the uh, extra two hours I had to uh, fish and having to call it early. I'd rather that happen than something break but uh yeah still got some unfinished business still got some redemption caught some good fish couple of them wish we would have caught more but that's kind of just the way the cookie crumbles or some shit like that but if you like this video give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe we tried to do it we did something but we didn't do what we were here to do so might have to revisit this down the road before it gets too cold and see if we can't catch that absolutely giant flathead i think it was giant anyway actually i know it was giant it's just it's just a matter of how giant all right see you later stuff and things pal goodbye <laughs>